to have somebody like Ben Carson, who I think represents so many unsung um, social and professional heroes. Please don't ask us to choose between them. I really think his story is an everyman story because it's really about overcoming obstacles, uh, adversity, overcoming adversity, poverty. It will show the incredible power of education and what it can do for a person, how it can take a person from a life of virtually nothing to the pinnacle of one of the toughest professions in the world. Well, they don't appear to be sharing any organs, which is good. Uh, there are parts of the brain, such as the vision center, that aren't completely separated. We won't know until we get in there. How soon can that be? Well, first we have to solve the problem of exsanguination. Exsang... Bleeding to death. It's the reason why cranial separations have never succeeded. You see, babies have very little blood. And unless I can figure out a way to keep them from bleeding out, I can't risk performing this operation. The title of the movie is Gifted Hands. And Dr. Ben Carson, he actually has more you know, gifts than most people have. He's blessed. Medicine was the only career that ever interested me. It started out as a missionary doctor, and then a psychiatrist, and then finally a neurosurgeon. You know, with kids, what you see is what you get. You know, if they feel good, you know, they feel good, they feel bad. You know, there's no secondary agendas. Also, you can do more radical things with kids. I mean, you can't do a hemispherectomy, take out half of a brain in an adult. Kids have plasticity and they have the ability to reorganize their nervous system. He has two very special gifts. One is his ability to see. He sees in three dimensions. How he plays pool, how he plays foosball. He's incredible at these things. And he uses this gift of sight during surgery. But the other gift is his ability to use his hands. He can maneuver his hands in the human brain and feel things that most people wouldn't have the ability to do, and he feels that that is a gift that God gave him, the ability to feel through the human brain and find things and solve problems. Uh, I mean, all of these little things that he does, and you know, the way that when he talks, he's always kind of circling his hands, and he's always, he never just lets his hands, you know, he's never like, he's always aware of where his hands are. And that's very telling to me because, I mean, that's his miracle, you know. <laughs> I've completed two uh, operations this morning. Just oh, yeah. He didn't start out as the kid that everybody thought was the smartest one in the class. He didn't start out as the most popular kid. When you look at all those things, to imagine that he wound up going to Yale and going to the University of Michigan and wound up at Johns Hopkins. Um, hospital, it's just one of those stories that, that I, I think people could look at it and go, well, that guy seems like me. You know what that is? That's a whole other world, Benjamin. You've just stepped into a whole other world. What's been driving us underneath all this is Ben Carson's goal and spirit, and that is to provide sort of a road map to youngsters to how they can succeed, that all they really have to do is set their mind on something and focus on it. In Detroit, the high school graduation rate for black males is about 15%. I want to change that. And, you know, not only for young black males, but for everybody. His tone, his sensibility, and the gentleness that he has in combination with this extraordinary uh, ability that he has. And, and I think his extraordinary uh, commitment and discipline and um, 
somehow ability to believe in himself and be confident even though he came from such humble beginnings was just really inspiring to me and really amazing to me it continues to be i've had the opportunity to play with real people before the extra added advantage is if it's a positive influence on american history especially african-american history it really um, makes me feel like i'm not just you know taking a paycheck i'm i'm doing something i'm giving back a little bit especially something as extraordinary as ben carson's story what i would tell adolescents today who perhaps were in a little trouble like I was, I would say success is determined not by whether or not you face obstacles, but by your reaction to them. And if you look at those obstacles as a containing fence, they become your excuse for failure. If you look at them as a hurdle, each one strengthens you for the next, and nothing can stop you. Peter. Doctor? Which child would you like to see first? <gasps> well, Stephen, oh, thank you. Thank you. <sighs> thank you. It's not often that you get to do a body of work that you think is really important and that will touch people in a positive way and that can leave a very uplifting and enriching legacy amongst the audience. My mom would say as a kid that God is going to do miracles through you. He's going to work through you. And I play that, thy will be done. That's my prayer I always say. And, uh, and, I, and I believe God sent him to do these miracle things through his hands. And how he became the surgeon that he became is a testament to personal will, uh, personal determination, and, and in his case, a, a real strong faith as well. I hope there will be millions of young people who will come away saying, I can do that, but recognizing that it's gonna require a lot of hard work. You get out of it what you put into it. But 20 years, 30 years, 50 years from now, this movie will still be around. It will still be touching hearts. It will still be changing lives. And that's a blessing for all of us.